Um, the, oh, great. <laughs> two cards just jumped and I haven't even asked a question. All right. Well, I'll leave those right there. Um, tonight we are going to look into Quinn Kelly. Um, this is part of the Idaho Four. Someone asked me to look into him and see if his daddy is the Daddy Warbucks. Um, excuse me, this is, hi, welcome, I'm Kate. Um, if you're new, welcome. If you're retarded, welcome back. Um, so what I wanna do is narrow it down and ask the cards, um, what was Quinn Kelly's? I just wanna ask, um, I need to narrow down the question because I know he has an alibi. Allegedly. Oh, this is all allegedly, in my opinion. No facts here. Please do your own research. Um, so to narrow down the question of does Quinn Kelly come from money or does Quinn Kelly have a financial backing? I kind of want to start earlier, though, and see, like, is it true that Quinn, okay, is it, let's start with Quinn Kelly. Is he really, are we allowed to say the word moving? Okay, he's, let's ask if Quinn Kelly is moving party favors from Bo Boise to Moscow. Then, okay, let's start with that. Is Quinn Kelly moving party favors from Boise to Idaho, uh, from by Boise to Moscow? The two cards that jumped out here, these cards are ready. All right, the underlying energy is the Three of Pentacles in reverse. The card, the, the two cards that jumped, um, Temperance, and the Nine of Swords. So um, let's get some, the Magician. Judgment in reverse. Oh, this is my list. I'll move it over here. And the Two of Cups. Okay. So the underlying energy is the three of pentacles in reverse. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's put them all together. It'll tell a bigger story. Temperance is balance. It's one foot in, one foot out. It's also like of the, it's like someone of two worlds. It's an angelic. Figure. She has her foot in the water. In the, on this deck, she's a female. She's one foot in the water, one foot out. He may be a water sign. Um, then we have the nine of swords. That's high anxiety, which, I mean, if you're in the business of moving party favors, that would be stressful. Then we have the magician. Um, the magician is really only second grade if you're looking at it through the eyes of the fool's journey. Some people see it, and I do in this moment, see it as like, well, a magician tricks you. Um, then we have judgment in reverse. That's like, self-destructive, and then we have the Two of Cups upright. If he was moving party favors, oh, I did a reading on this. Oh, that's right. Okay, okay, it's all coming. I did a reading on this and in that reading, it'll, I'm going to put it as part of this playlist. <laughs> okay. 
Um, yeah, I would say that he was in the business of moving party favors. Yes, I would say that. And the reason I'm going to say that is because the cards that we have are showing me that we might be dealing like not above board behavior, which is fine. Like teach their own. I really have no opinion on, I could care less, but in the reading that I did, it said that the US government was going to choke this pipeline and it was just causing too much trauma or drama, not trauma, drama. And what I'm seeing on these cards is like, business is either really slow, it might be cut off, he's losing sleep at night, there's a lot of fighting, there's a lot of disorganization and chaos. One of the things I asked was, if anyone lives there, if they're having a hard time getting favors, like they used to, um, because it looks like they are, according to my sources, which are these cards. Um, the magician, I just went down a Reddit rabbit hole looking for this kid's birthday. And I know they have, there are no facts here. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Thank you for coming. There are no facts here. Do your own research. Um, just to check with some tarot cards. No truth here. Um, but the connection that we might have just made. I don't even I don't even know if I can say it out loud because it seems so implausible. Uh, okay, we just got the three of cups up right. So that's like celebration. We also have the two of cups. I'm just going to ask if I can ask this card. Okay, I can't. <laughs> or say it out loud. Um, so one of the things that I just thought of, or I don't know, I will say that the, the reading that we got that they, FBI or U.S. government, whoever it is, I have no idea. No facts here. Do your own research. Um that the U.S. government is choking Idaho, or like Moscow. Um, if he was moving party favors from Boise to Moscow, and he probably was, right now it's like complete chaos. It's disorganized, he can't get his supply. Uh, he's losing sleep at night. The magician is here. I feel like the magician and then on top of the magician, we have the hermit. Oh, I'm sorry, the five of cups in reverse. This kid has like There's a lot of conflict going on here. There's a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of illusions, a lot of low self-esteem. Didn't we ask if he was Daddy Warbucks? Or did we ask, the first question that we asked was, is he, yeah, the answer is yes. He's moving things, or was. Right now it doesn't look like, um, the favors are moving. Right now it looks frozen. Okay, so 
what I'm going to do is clear these and we are going to, so the answer is yes, he was moving party favors from Boise to Moscow. Now it looks like chaos. Everything is in, it looks like a shit show. And it also looks like he's having some real self-esteem issues. Um, okay. I really want to know if he, I'm going to write down this question so that we might answer it, but I don't want to confuse the cards. Um, okay. So first we're going to ask, first I'm just going to ask it, was he an informant for the feds? I'll just do upright yes, reversals no. We'll just do a quick five card poll um, to see if Quinn Kelly was an informant for the feds. Mm -hmm. Okay. Upright yes, reversals no. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. It's a soft yes. Okay. It's a soft yes that he was an informant. So the cards that we did this upright yes reversals no are very um, informative cards. We got the lovers. That's Dylan and Quinn, allegedly in a relationship. They both went to high school in Boise. I didn't look that far into it, except I did go down a rabbit, a Reddit rabbit hole. Um, and that was because I was just looking for this kid's birthday. But um, the Reddit rabbit hole to me just had a lot of stuff that we've heard, which is now just beginning to look like propaganda. <laughs> but anyway, then we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. We got that the first time that we did this. Then we have the Hangman. We also got travel cards the last reading because I hopefully I posted it. I did a reading and then I paused it to see when Dylan's birthday was. I'm sorry, uh, Quinn's birthday was, but I also looked for Dylan. I couldn't find either of them. So if you find them, can you let me know? This is the hangman. Um, some people see it as like in an optimistic way, like looking for a new perspective. I think that what he's trying to do is see how the cookies are going to crumble because his lover possibly is going to get called to the stand. Um, we have strength in reverse. It's a lot of sleepless nights. It's a lot of struggle, low self-esteem. And then we have the queen of wands. I wonder who the queen of wands is in this card, in this reading. I looked at a picture of him. I can see things like when I see pictures, I can feel energy and stuff. I looked at a picture of him and I felt mommy and daddy issues right off the rip. I have no idea if he has either of those. In the Reddit, um, he was probably, I just put Idaho 4 into Reddit with his name to see when his birthday was. Um, I didn't see anything about parent issues. I'm not, I'm still not seeing a ton of money. Oh, that was weird. We have the Ace of Swords. Was he the mastermind of this? Couldn't have been. I'm gonna clear these and ask if he was the mastermind, just that one question. So it was a soft yes that he was an informant. Which could be the Daddy Warbucks energy that 
the comment, whoever commented that question to see if we could look into it, that could be the energy you're getting. Um, if he's, what did they, a snitch, a snitch or something? Um, if he's working both sides of this, then that could be the energy that you're getting. Um, if you're moving party favors, five hours, I guess you're not a dummy. Where you are a dummy and you're working for the feds because they caught you and this is how you can like, is it called an informant? Like if he's the informant and he has, so then you work for the, the feds or the FBI or whatever. If he has the backing of the U.S. government, why would he be the mastermind? Like, if Maddie, or I think it was Maddie, did tell Adam everything, like you, you can hear on the walk home, because she and Dylan got in a fight two weeks before this night, and she was threatening to, like, snitch on them. Like, why would Quinn and Dylan care if he's already working with the feds? Like, I think I'm missing something. If Quinn was an informant and he was also moving party favors from Boise to Moscow, he's working both sides of this coin. <laughs> so, if, like, who cares if Dylan, or if Maddie was going to tell on him? I guess, I guess I don't know the underworld as well as I thought. Just kidding. Um, so he has an alibi, and I'm going to put this in quotes, an alibi. Um, the night of the situation. And it was like, he was in Boise five hours away, which like, I haven't seen any of the Snapchats and I don't really care if I see them because I don't really know if I believe it. Because the confusing part is if you're already working for the feds, so you already got in trouble. This is my understanding of it. You already got in trouble. So you flip so that you can lower your time by turning in someone higher or something. Someone who knows a little bit more about this, jump in. But so if he's already working with feds, he already has a court case, federal court case, which like you could just cross straight, straight state lines, then it becomes federal. So if he already has a federal case and he's, moving party favors from Boise to Moscow, five hours. Like, I think what I'm confused about is who cares if Maddie tells on him? He already is working with the feds. He's already been busted federally. Which I don't know if he has or not, but let's just ask. Okay, let's ask. Well, we did get a soft yes if he was working with the feds. The next question I wanted to ask was, is he the mastermind? I feel like I don't even need to ask the question because I feel like he's not. I need a state map. I feel like I want to look at the map. So if he's five hours away, if you're running stuff like a mule or whatever, Like, that doesn't make sense. If Maddie told him, who cares? Let's go back into this, yes. Okay, so Quinn, is Quinn? I don't want to say mastermind. Um, 
But I guess, I guess let's do it. Let's just ask if Quinn called, just the hangman jumped. If Quinn, I wonder if he's like, I want to say puppeteer. Is that the one that controls the puppets? I wonder, I wonder if he is the, okay. Oh, you know what I have here? Okay, I wrote down this. Can you see it? Uh, this was from my last reading with Dimitri, Demetrius. Dimitri was the hermit in that reading. Okay, so wait, what's Dimitri's connection? That's what we have to figure out. So on this, can you see this, I hope? Um, so in the last reading I did on these guys, Demetrius, but I was calling him Dimitri, is the center. We had Dylan over here, Emma over here. It was an executioner, so it was the Knight of Swords. And then the world card was the next card, and that was the kids. So showing that there's an emperor above Dimitri, there's also the Hierophant. That's like the highest you can get. And then below him were the minions. So it was like a pyramid. So Dylan was showing up. I think she was the high priestess. I wonder if Dimitri, is it the, I wonder if um, Quinn, is one of these guys. Because if, if, I'm sorry, I can't remember who wrote that comment, but if you're getting big daddy energy or like daddy Warbucks energy, like that, this is so corrupt. I like feel like I can't wrap my head around it. Okay, so the question, I'm gonna put Dimitri, I'm gonna put this, you can take a screenshot if you want. Um. I'm going to set that here so I can refer to it because what we want to know is if Quinn made the call, like the, it, what do you call that? Like, he's not the executioner. Well, I guess he technically is. Well, he's not the one that went inside and did act or outside. I have a whole theory on that, but we'll ask this question first. Um, did Quinn pull the trigger or the green light to say go? Like, is Quinn, the, uh, what would you call that? Like, I guess he would be a kingpin. Oh, that's such a big word for this. I feel like Quinn, okay. I don't know what the words are, but what I feel like is that Quinn's the one that's, that made the call. Like, yes, tonight's the night we're going to do it. Um, did Quinn, what would this be? It's like in a gang, a gang, the leader doesn't get his hands dirty or, you know, whatever. He has people that do it for him. Well, so is Quinn. Okay. Did Quinn make the call? The go call? We just got the hermit and the hermit is Dimitri or Demetrius, who's also Emma, Emma's boyfriend. Yeah, we have the moon in reverse, four of swords, justice.
Yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna write that down. I don't even know. So I'm just gonna put Quinn's name. Okay, so now we just have to figure out, there are two people higher than Quinn. Oh, can you see this? I'll post, I'll take a picture of this. I'll make it nicer too, so you can read it. Dimitri was the hermit in the reading that Dimitri was the wheel of the spoke. So he might have been, I don't know where he was in the house or underneath the house, in the tunnels, whatever. He was the wheel. So he had his minions here. He was taking call direction from the top and he was directing the bottom. We just asked the question if Quinn made the decision and we got yes. I mean, the first card that popped up was Dimitri. So, um, yeah. Then we have the moon. Okay, so the first card that popped up was Dimitri. I need my cards back. And then we have strength. I should rewatch that other one. Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Swords. The Lovers in Reverse. I think I need to rewatch that one because. <sighs> yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So we asked if Dylan, I'm sorry, Quinn. Hi, Quinn Kelly. So these are just cards. Do your own research. You can find all this information probably somewhere. Um, so Quinn, we asked if he was the trigger man or whatever. The, whoever pulls the trigger and says go, like start the race. Yes, he was waiting around. We have the hangman. Um, just waiting. He was waiting. Then he made a call to the hermit. Dimitri was the hermit the last time, and the first call he made was to Dimitri. Um, then we have the sun in, I'm sorry, the moon in reverse. The good news is all this is going to come to the light. That's like... Secrets coming out, releasing fear. Um, if it was the moon upright, I would say like the delusion and illusions are going to continue on. Um, this is saying no, they're going to come to the light. Hi, Dylan. Um, then we have the Four of Swords. I do not care what people say about the Four of Swords. There's nothing relaxing about laying on top of a coffin with a sword underneath you and three swords, one in your forehead, your throat, and your chest. So yes, I will say, I am confident that Quinn did make the call. Yes, go in, get rid of them. It seems to be a very orchestrated thing, which, fine, okay. Then we have justice. So justice, we could go with both ways. Right now, we could say, like, he was snitch. So you're a snitch if you're working for the feds. Like, that, I've never caught a case or gotten in trouble, knock on wood. But, like, that to me is just common sense. If you're working for the feds, you got caught up on some federal charges, and they will make your like sentence less if you flip and you go in on turning the big guys. And this is, this is saying that justice, I'm hoping that that's also the moon in reverse, like we will get justice. Hi Quinn. Hi Dylan, how are you guys sleeping? I'm not taunting you. I just think that <laughs> the cards are 10 of swords. Mm, it's not looking very good for you. Um, okay, so yes, this is how I'm gonna read these cards. Quinn was hanging around, waiting for the, like, this was premeditated, and I don't care what anyone says. 
He was waiting to get the call or to call Demetrius. His name is Demetrius, but I call him Demetri because I have a friend named Demetrius and I call him Demetri too. So he called Demetri. Demetri, all of the minions underneath Demetri were in line. The right hand wasn't talking to the left hand. There was confusion, fear, darkness, which is a lack of light. Uh, then we have death. So he had his little minions. There was a lot of con- confusion. Depending on who you talk to, that didn't sound like there was that much confusion. What it sounded like was that the gang mentality of like not jumping in. And I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't there. So I have no idea. And I haven't been to college for a few years. So regardless, yes, someone done justice. This could be Dylan. I'm sorry, Quinn working with the feds to bring people to justice, which like if you're the feds and you're working with an aid, like, I don't even want to call it an agent. If you're working with a team, this is why the feds are cutting them off. Oh, okay. So he was trying to lessen his sentence on a federal case. I'm guessing that's why he was a snitch. I don't know what you call it in the feds, but um, then we have fighting. There, this is the six of wands in reverse, and it's like he was probably a douche, but people were afraid of him because people. He also had loyal people with him too. So, but he has no self esteem, and he needs like public recognition. So then we have strength. He was flexing his muscles. It's like the boy peacock. Like, it's going to be a long karmic road for you, buddy. Then you have the ace of pentacles in reverse. Bad investment and bad foresight. That was a bad call, buddy. Then you have the ace of swords in reverse. You were thinking with this was like a flex for you. Well, it wasn't a very good idea because <laughs> yeah, this was not a good idea. Um, the Ace of Swords is like clouded judgment, confusion. Now you don't know where you stand with whoever. Dummy. Then you have the lovers in reverse. That's because you're like, you sold out. You like sold your, you sold out because you're like, I don't know. I've never caught a case of like a federal case, but you sold out. And looks to me like they're onto you. Lovers in reverse is like bad choices. You were making a lot of bad choices. Hi, Quinn. Hi. Um, yeah. And you're working so hard. You're just putting your head down. And then you're going to get stabbed in the back. This is what you did and were doing and are doing. This is going to be a long karmic road for you, buddy. I don't see anyone protecting you. What's this guy doing? He's dead. With ten swords in his back. This isn't looking very good for you, Mr. Quinn. It's going to be... A long karmic road for you. No one's here to protect you. No one's giving you money. You sold out. Well, you flipped. Like if you're working for the feds, you're two-faced. You're like a sellout. That's why snitches get stitches, you know? Don't they put like, I don't know if we're allowed to say this, but crimes against children with snitches. And you're a snitch. You're still going to, oh, this is like poetic justice. So sleep well tonight with the King of Cups. This is your daddy issues. Oh, poor Quinn. You have some daddy issues. If we get the queen. Mm, This is you. Two of wands. This is like, I would call it a travel card, but it's really a lack of planning. You flexed your muscle. To show everyone how big and bad and scary you were. 
but you really weren't that organized. And now your whole little empire is falling apart and no one, no one is coming in to save you. You did get your daddy. I don't know anything about your daddy, but I'm not seeing any money on here. <laughs> I don't even like what I'm seeing on this car. I mean, you just can speak. This speaks for itself. I don't know where you're. I don't have to do a reading on that card. So, Quinn, is there anything else you'd like to know? Are you going to snitch on Dimitri too? Let's ask about, I'm going to name this Quinn the Snitch because Quinn's working at the FBI. He's also bringing in party supplies. The Empress. Do you report to a woman? What? Wait a minute. Hmm, do you report to a woman? Wait a second. <gasps> All right, well, we just got the King of Swords in reverse. Ace of Pentacles, which you've gotten a few times. Oh, the Queen of Wands, mommy's coming. <laughs> okay. We got the death card. Don't worry, it doesn't mean death. Although some of the other cards did. All right, so. The card just jumped. Is the Empress upright? You snitch. Wow. I'm like, I don't know why I'm surprised about this. If you're working for the feds, Did you have an ankle bracelet on? Is that why you were in Boise? You can set up your Snapchats to do that. Well, you got the king of, let's just talk about how your life looks like it's going. Um, I will just say that things don't look very good for you because I am sure I'm not the first person who got that you're working with the feds and so you're like, that's a snitch. But now you have the King of Swords in reverse. <laughs> it's misuse of power. It's also cowardly and emotional. Ace of Pentacles. You've gotten this one every single pull. This is your like salesman. You're like selling the kids in Boise and the guys in uh, Moscow. Like you're a salesman. You're working both sides of the fence. This is like, oh, hmm. Then you got the eight of cups in reverse. So your cups are empty. We know that they're cutting you off. Oh, no wonder the feds are cutting you off, you dummy. <sighs> yeah, this isn't looking good for you. Your mommy's here. That's nice. 
Maybe you do have a, a solid family. I don't know. Because the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands keep showing up for you. They don't always show up in like the light that, that you want them to show up. And it's a little codependent, a little bit of a problem relationship. But I'm not seeing a ton of money. I haven't seen any money really on any of these cards. And I definitely haven't seen any protection for you. So... I don't know who you need protection from, but I'm not the first, I mean, I'm sure I'm not the first person who's pulled a couple of cards to see that you're the snitch and could be the mastermind. I wouldn't call it the mastermind. You pulled the trigger to say go, and then you had, so you were organized. Someone was organized. I'm not getting that you were that organized, but I'm also seeing it with the energy of today, not the energy from prior to this little mishap. Um, then we have the four of wands in reverse, unhappy home, no stability. Yeah. Then we have the death in reverse. Doesn't mean death for you. It just means like, you're like emotionally stunted. You're like a 15 year old. You might be like 24, 25. I don't know how old you are. I really could care less because you're a snitch. Um, that didn't do a very good job. Because now can you catch a bunch of charges for this? Like, okay, let's get, sorry, I'm talking a lot because I'm talking through this energy and it's a lot of heavy, dark energy. I want some clarity on this Empress. I'm just going to ask, Is I'm just going to pull one card. Is the Empress Dylan? Yes. Okay, so hi Dylan, hi Snitch. Um, I'm guessing you both caught charges with the feds. So you're both snitches. Um, who? This is your daddy. So, all right. So the energy that you were getting, if you were getting it for Quinn, the daddy Warbucks energy, I'm guessing is the U.S. government because we got a soft yes that he was working with the government, but then all the other cards backed it up. So I'm going to say yes. <laughs> he caught a case or whatever it is, caught some charges. So we flipped. So wait a second. If he was working with the feds, this is like every crime show. The feds infiltrate, you know, whatever. If it's like a bicycle club. Why aren't... So, I don't know where the corruption begins and ends in this whole situation, but what I do know, I think that Dylan... Well, Dylan's the boss. <laughs> Better write that down. So on our list, we have Quinn higher than Dylan. Mm -mm. Dylan report, Quinn reports to Dylan. So Dylan, 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 Dylan. We need to go into Dylan now. I have to, We. I need different cards too. I want to use the old school writer weight. I have questions. <laughs> Wait a second. So here's our list. Dylan, you can take a picture. <gasps> all right. Who's protecting? All right, let's just ask if Dylan's, what is it called? An informant? Oh my gosh. Oh, I have nothing nice to say. All right, let's just ask if Dylan was working with the feds too. 
Upright, yes, reversals now. We'll just do five cards. Upright, yes, reversals now. Is Dylan working with the feds too? <sighs> yep. No. Yes. No. Yes. Soft yes again. But the exact same cards that your boyfriend got. So we have the Nine of Swords, Sleepless Nights. Yeah. What do the feds do when they have an informant working for them who's also carrying out mass murder and executions? Is that why you can't sleep? You and your little boyfriend got the same card. Sorry. You also got the moon in reverse. So did your boyfriend. That means your little secrets are coming out. Well, obviously. I cannot be the first person like a year later who's seeing the connection between the feds and you. And the feds are cutting you off. And we have our little page of wands. Isn't that cute? This is on the phone, texting, forgetting to call 911. Yeah. You might want to ask the state prosecutor to work with the feds so you can bundle it all. I mean, it did take eight hours. There has to be a law against that. Oh, and then you're the thief. You're the thief. Oh, whoa. No way. No way. Wait a second. And then we have the eight of wands. So wands are air, wands are messages. It's like about to fight. Is Dylan the one, is Dylan, was Dylan one of the alleged, it would make sense. All of these cards are falling out. Okay. I actually think Dylan's the executioner. We just got the page of swords. Dylan's like little, I think. I don't really know anything about her, obviously, but. When I pulled this card, Seven of Swords in reverse, I had like a flash of like Dylan. There are rumors that she's a sword expert. Oh, uh, there's just no facts here. This is all, what is this called? It's all, it's, it's a tarot. It's a game. We're just playing tarot. Um, okay. I need to, okay. I need to write this down because this is saying that Dylan and Quinn are snitches. Hi, snitches. Get stitches, you dummies. Dylan and Quinn work for the feds. Or they were informants or whatever. They're like snitching on someone to lower their caseload. Yeah, might be a little problem now. Um, the feds, we did into reading about this before. The feds are cutting off the supply to Boise or Idaho or Moscow. I'm just going to write Idaho because if anyone's there, um, let me know. 
The feds are cutting it off. Okay. We also got that Dylan is higher than Quinn, who's higher than Dimitri. Dylan, Quinn, Demetrius is what he goes by in the news. Demetrius. What we also just got is that Dylan, which makes sense, she was there. She logically makes the most sense. That Dylan was, what is it called? Someone who's an expert in sword swordmanship? Dylan. And someone held there. Dimitri is down in the tunnels. We also got that in another reading. So Dimitri is in the tunnels. Dylan was the actual one of the executioners. Okay. So now we have to figure out who the mystery man was because someone was stronger. Plus there's video going around that like, this is really, really, I would just say, I'm glad I'm not you. Um, there's videos going around that like, I don't know. I mean, I couldn't watch it because I have a heart, Dylan. God, I've been wanting to do this to you. Um, Dylan, I'm really sorry that you made these horrible decisions because everyone's turning their back on you, <laughs> even though you're telling a bunch of lies and you're trying to trick everyone. Guys, she's the snitch and the executioner. And you did not think it through. You have the fool in reverse. Oh my gosh, these cards. You and your little boyfriend just got this too. Does this look ha happy to you? No, looks like you're outside. Because I still don't see anyone saving you. And I don't see this ending very well for you or your little boyfriend. But, you know, this guy, oh, he was upright. And then these guys were, does this guy, here are more wands. And the sun, thank God. Those are our little kid. That's our Ethan. I don't know if Ethan's haunting you at night, but I bet he is because he's loud. Oh. So Dylan didn't do it alone. But Dylan was behind the sword, quite literally. Where did our sword, oh, our page of swords is right here. The page of swords, I wouldn't expect. I would have expected a knight. The page is like the messenger. This could be also like words, travel, or uh, internet. But you having to steal a few lives, it's gonna be a lot of karma for you. I don't really know how you get out of that caramel like circle. But you're not getting any sleep. You lost all your friends. You didn't have any anyway. You have no, nothing. You're <laughs> the loser. <sighs> what a loser. Well, no facts here. Just a little bit of a tarot deck reading. What else should we ask Dylan? So. Who's protecting you? Like, if this is the Odin thing, which I haven't done any readings. I think I did a reading on the cowboy, the hot one. That's like psychotic, but allegedly, in my opinion, we, I mean, that was a reading I did, but he, how did they play into this? And do they know you're working both sides of the fence? Like, like, does this organization, whatever everyone's calling it, 
know that you're a snitch? Like, we've known that snitches get stitches since like the mafia days when the US mafia government went down on the other mafia because they were taking too much money. Like, you don't even have to know, that's like basic history. So if, hey, hot cowboy, I don't remember your name, but if you're watching this, Dylan and Quinn are snitches and they're working with the feds. So take with that what you want. Um, like, so why were the cowboys at your house? I'm guessing the Cowboys don't know that you're a snitch and you're working with the feds. I'm gonna put that as the title of this. Dylan's the snitch. Caught some more charges for that, huh? Dummy. So, where that leaves us tonight, oh, this is like an hour long, is, yes, Quinn was bringing party favors from Boise to Moscow. He, well, we got in, the last, in a different reading that the U.S. government's cutting off their supply because they're making too much noise and bringing way too much attention to it. Which is also very ironic that now Quinn and Dylan were working for the feds. So that's who's protecting them. That's the Daddy Warbucks money that you're getting. Hmm. I should look, what is that hot cowboy's name? Because I'm guessing that the hot cowboys do not know that you guys are snitches. What is that kid's name? Ooh. Oh, that's also contracts. You get contracts, not salespeople. The ace of um, pentacles that you kept getting can be contracts too. Hmm. Who'd you make the contract with? The, it doesn't make that much sense to me that the feds would back up a mass murder. Like, I'm not really seeing that. And I don't see the hot kid's name on here. The hot cowboy. Hi. Um... Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. I'm not impressed with you, Missy. I am not impressed. I'm going to pause this and figure out what the hot cowboy's name is. I'll be right back. I'm going to label this. Dylan and Quinn are the snitches. Snitches get stitches. But I want to know if the hot cowboy, the one that we saw with the Odin tattoo, who is mysteriously at the house three weeks later taking stuff out. He doesn't know that they work for the Fed. Does he work for the Feds? All right, I'm going to pause this. This is about an hour. Uh, I'll start uploading it while I record the other one. But what I just want to figure out is what this hot cowboy is. And I know that you're not supposed to think cowboys are hot, but no, you are. It's okay to think cowboys are hot. I don't know, but I'm going to thank you for coming. That was fun. Um, to wrap it up, Dylan is the boss. Everyone works under her. Quinn reports to her. And Quinn's a snitch, and so is Dylan. They work with the feds. So that's probably the Daddy Warbuck energy we're getting was the, the government. Guys, could not get any dumber. 
that was probably a tough call to make to your PO. Is that why you weren't there? Because you had a bracelet on? All right, I have a few questions, but first I'm gonna pause. Thank you all for coming, that was fun. I'm gonna pause, or this is the end of this video. I'm gonna look up that hot cowboy's name. Oh, I should put a picture of all these people up um, and see if he knows that these two niches are in bed with the government. I mean, it's okay. You don't wanna catch any more charges, no problem. Probably being involved with the mass murder on a college campus wasn't the what the prosecution was looking for though. But we'll just go with it. Um, thanks for coming. I'll see you in a minute. If you're coming back, we're gonna do the hot cowboy and his connection to Dylan and Quinn and see if he knows that these two are snitching with the government or sleeping with the government or whatever. So thanks for coming. Love you.